guys, I'm chopping it up with Roz. <clears throat> and I'm coming here today to do a video for you guys. I saw a video last night of Tree. She went live on YouTube and she was asking people to pay her $50 to take shots. And I'm like, that's ridiculous because you guys drink every day, all day and smoke. So I didn't know the point of that, but it seemed like anything for a couple of dollars with her right about now. I decided I'm doing a reaction video today about Latrice Allen, comedian Latrice Allen. I've been watching her for a while, and for a while I used to really enjoy her content because she was honest. She was going through a struggle with her babies, um, and I thought it was honorable of her to come on you know, YouTube or Facebook and really just tell her story. But lately it seemed like she has run into a brick wall. And it's just so sad to watch this woman go through this. Um, it's, I don't even really know where to begin, but I just know that her saying, everybody want this man, Everybody does not want this man. Everybody is looking at a train wreck and trying to warn you about the the, the mistakes that you're making. It's like I was saying before, it seemed like she's run into a brick wall. Um, her self-esteem is very low. I mean, anytime you have to keep saying how much you love somebody, Last night in the live, she just kept saying, I love my man. I love my man. Okay, but do you love your son that's sitting up in a room that won't come out the room because he's having his problems? You know, you want to you wanna have him work towards something, but you're not giving him the same love and affection that you're giving this grown-ass man. And it's just not okay. Ain't no way in hell you should be moving this man in the space with your children straight out of jail let me tell you something when you are dating and you don't want to feel used or you don't want to be cheated you just don't want to have him in your children's personal space um, you want to date from a distance so that you don't have to feel so desperate you know for this man's affection um, you don't have to take care of this grown man. We already see it. Everybody that watch you see it. He's only around to benefit off of you. And how can you how can you distinguish the two? Do he love me or is he around for something? You yourself said that he, he was sent by the devil. And you're so glad that God opened your eyes. And when he did, like God saved you and you was getting him away from you. What's wrong with him getting a place and coming to take you out on dates? What's wrong with going to get a hotel room if all he's bringing to the table is sex? If he can't bring you nothing else, you can go out to a hotel room. He can come pick you up if he really wanted to be with you. He would make a way. You got to allow that man to be a man, to stand on his own two feet. Because in the back of your mind, I know that you're wondering, do he want me for me or do he want me for what I could do for him? That's not a good feeling. That's not a good feeling. And you need to stop telling people to send stars so you can fund his habits and, and buy him $3,000 jewelry. That same $3,000, you could have took that money and bought your baby a little used car and gave him the will to want to get up and earn the car and be active. We already noticed that when Coco is around, your son is not even nowhere around you guys. He don't want no parts. Have, have you ever sat down and just had a conversation with your son about how he must feel? You ready to send him off to go live with your brother? Why can't he just stay home? And then you want us to believe that you went and got Coco so he wouldn't go back to Florida to get in trouble. In my opinion, I believe you went back and got Coco because you didn't want to see him with that ex-girlfriend. Every time you break up with him, you always boasting and bragging about all this money and going to buy this jewelry, all that to lure him back. That's weak stuff.
that makes you look desperate. And you don't even look happy no more. You don't look happy no more. There's no structure in your home around your children. You say they just wake up, they got on tennis shoes, they fully dressed. Do they even put on pajamas? I just think it's a huge mistake that you are making. I feel like you know that man's intentions. You know why he's there. You know that if it wasn't about your money that he probably wouldn't pick you. And that's okay. You don't want him to. You don't want it to be only about your money. You want somebody to love you. And then I got to keep thinking, you 37. I can't believe you're 37. I know you've had a hard life, and I know you've been through some things with your mother. I've been watching you for a long time, and my heart really breaks for you. But how cocky and ugly you're acting right now, all that's coming from a place of low vibration. You don't feel good about this whole situation. Don't nobody want Coco. Coco can't do nothing for nobody, not even you. And you know this. But you want to sit on you want to sit on live last night and act like you know you in something so healthy and so good and you know you just love your man cuz he decided to bake a few pieces of chicken a few pieces of chicken only enough for y'all to have one plate. He know you got four kids and you and him. He should have made enough for somebody to come and have extra. Then you whispering about Courtney, you are so like so laxed about what he may be going through. Do this man even like him? How does this man make him feel? That's the real question. You really need to, you really need to know that it's more to life than being down for somebody that's not even down for you. I just have to get on here and do this reaction with you because it's ridiculous. But you need to have a conversation with your son and see how he must be feeling and quit being so hard on him. I think he's 15, 16. It couldn't be easy for him. And then your whole focus is on Coco. Your whole focus. It's hard to watch. Like, it's really hard to watch you. But it's a train wreck. And when we're sitting at home in quarantine, it's just like, dang, what's going to happen? I have an Aries son and an Aries daughter. Let me tell you, my boy, when he tired of somebody, he walks away. You can grab at his ankles. He ain't coming back. When Coco get through getting everything that he wants from you, he will create a situation or an argument. And when he walk away, he's going to be gone and you're going to be hurt. You need to protect yourself. You just really going to be surprised. You know, ain't no coming back. Ain't no coming back. Them Aries, once they gone and they set in their ways, they gone. I don't care what you give them, what you do, how much you praise him. When he's ready to go, if you're not the person that he is attracted to and in love with, he's going to leave. I heard you ask him, was he going to ask you to marry him? He didn't even respond to you. Why would you ask him that? Why can't you just let him know, look, I'm a grown woman. And if we're not doing this to lead up to marriage, then we need to just stop where, right where we are right now. You don't give him that option. You sounded desperate. You sounded dumb. And I don't even want this to be a negative reaction about you. Because I feel like you're a woman and you're going through something. You feel a you going through something. You feel it really low about yourself. And if all you got is money, if all you got is money, then you're broker than broke. If you don't have no love and compassion and common sense, and you're not trying to better who you are as a person, me, myself, I'm just starting this channel. I'm not getting on this channel uh, like a may bed. I'm going to take time and I'm going to pour into myself. I'm going to make sure that I'm clean, that I'm looking good, that I'm moisturized and all that before I come in here. I'm not going to walk you through my house and it's a mess. I'm going to clean up my house first. You see my house? I'm going to clean up first. I'm going to have my baby situated. I got four grown adults and six grandbabies. 
So I want to share my life with you guys and let you know about some of the things that I've had to overcome or go through. But I'm, I want to do cooking on this channel, but I also want to uplift women, especially younger women. I'm 48 years old. I know I don't look 48, but I'm 48 years old. And the mistakes that you are making is kind of like, it wouldn't even probably affect so many people, but people probably have made the same mistakes you have made. And to watch you, it's like nails to a chalkboard. Like when she stopped praising this man, I'm not even going to call him a bum or nothing, but he wrong. He's wrong for coming, you know, taking advantage of a single mother that's just not feeling good about herself. And then you trying to use your supporters and your fans to get money to support him. Stop doing that. Let people send you what they want to send Like, yeah, let people send you what they want to send you. But ain't nobody wanting to send you nothing if you're going to fork it over to him. And he sitting back there, he can't stop rolling weed. I'm sure that's a very expensive habit. You said it yourself. That he, the devil sent him and you were so thankful that God showed you and it wasn't worth it. You should have been done then. All these things, Latrice, comedian Latrice Allen, these are warning signs. These are warning signs. Somebody's trying to protect you and you're fighting against it. So we all paying attention because when it goes up, how you finna react to this? I hope that you could just walk away and not do anything foolish because you do have four kids to think about. But this, it, it didn't start off right. You should have dated. You should have let him get independently stable on his ground, on his feet. Get him a place, get him a job, not your job, not jobs with benefits and vacations and chefs and back rubs and massages and all that stuff. No, he should have got out of jail and courted you, dated you from a distance. Come pick you up. You want to lay up with him? Go get a hotel room. None of this stuff was supposed to be in your kid's space. You say you love your kids and you will act a fool about your kids, but right now you are putting all this toxicity in their life. This will be trauma for them when they get old enough to express themselves to you. And the reason why we as women are paying attention is because just be sitting here thinking y'all like it's sad. And then she on Facebook cussing out people, people telling her, you know, what they feel, giving her constructive criticism. She don't want to hear it. She don't want to hear it. People buying stuff from your from your shop, although they know it's all knockoff, they know it's all cheap. But when you see a mother trying to make a life for her children, you support. But where you got the game all messed up is when you inserted this man and you want everybody to take care of him. We don't want to take care of no grown ass man. Most of us are single. We doing a lot of self work, self reflecting. We like we okay with being alone. And that's the gift. Once you get to be okay being alone, which I thought that I thought that's where you was at. When you was going through getting your babies back, when you had your baby and your baby passed away, seemed like you was on the right road. You know, when Courtney did what he did and was talking to people offline and you was telling him how dangerous it was to let people know where y'all live and all this stuff, and then you turn around you set the stage, but you bring a man into your house that could potentially be dangerous as well. But the rules is different when it comes to you. And if all Coco is bringing to the table is penis, girl, you can get that with eat without even having to involve your children or your household, your finances. And I can't stand that you talk about money so much with this man like you know you in some type of financial business deal. Can you be a little bit more discreet? Even if you're willing to pay, like I was saying, even if you're willing to pay him, okay, that's your business. 
but you ain't got to get on here and high side to us because we remember you moving out the little apartments. I remember you staying in the shelter before going to, down to Atlanta. Don't let this money make you. You make the money. You doing good. You got a good thing going. But right now, you looking like a real train wreck. And I just want to come on here and give y'all my opinion on how I see things. Sorry, I'm moving my camera. I said I was going to wait to get a tripod and a ring light and get all this stuff and start my channel. But after that live last night, I said, uh-uh, I got to come on here and do a reaction. This lady, this lady is really on here doing a bit too much. A, a bit too much. This is what I want y'all to think about with trees. Let me hold my phone so y'all can hear me. I wonder if Dee Dee is her friend. Who's going to cash app you $100 for you and this man to take a shot when y'all take shots for free? If you going to be a channel, can you be honorable? Can you just stop letting it be about the twos and the fuse? YouTube is going to pay you. You will have people send you cash apps and, you know, super chats. Can you quit being so roguish? Like, you really, like, you ain't on the block hustling. You, you, in, you in people's houses. We looking at you. And we like, girl, we not sending no money for him. Coco, you got $50. That's sad. That's sad. Coco need to go get a job application. Coco need, need to go find a job. Coco need to get a place. I just want to have a positive channel. And I also want to let women know, like comedian Latrice Allen, although you're old enough to know better. But since you don't, and you're displaying it for the whole world to see, tune in. Watch my channel. It's no disrespect, but you're making a mistake. You started off wrong. You would have to let that man go and revisit the idea of even dating again. Let him go and see if he get his shit together and he can come visit you or come take you on a date, get you a hotel room, lay up with you. You go home, mind your business, he go on and mind his business. And another thing, being with him 24-7, you don't even trust him enough to let him go off on his own. It ain't going to work. My youngest son and my oldest child are Aries. You cannot control them. They don't even want to be controlled. And also, they know how to make their own money. They're very resourceful. They're very smart. It's just like, give that man a give him a chance to show you that he'll be all right. He don't want to go back to jail. You think he's going to go back and be hustling to go back to jail? Didn't you say he did 13 years? Unless he got... A person up in jail that he trying to get back there to see, he don't want to make those mistakes and go back to jail. So you got to have faith. Pray for him. You talk a lot about God. Pray that he'll make the right choices. But it's, the, it's just hard to watch you. I'm going to watch because I'm going to be doing commentary on things that I see about you. I got to. I got to get you together. Because you don't feel like you could be got together, but I got to get you together. I got to show you it's okay to be alone. Hey, YouTube. Okay, so I've given you guys all my little input on Comedian Latrice and all the mistakes that she is making. I'm going to be doing a lot more reactions, cooking, shopping, um story time about me cleaning i'm just gonna have all type of good stuff on this channel um i'm gonna stick with the reactions because i know she gonna have a lot to say today but anyway like my channel subscribe to my channel so you get all the notifications and just leave a comment let's have conversations in the comment i promise i will respond to everybody leaving me a message I love you guys. You guys have a good day. It's Saturday. I'm about to clean up and get ready for Mother's Day tomorrow. Happy Mother's Day to all the beautiful women out there. I love you guys for tuning in to my channel. But don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button so we can generate a real big audience. So we can get this channel up and pop. And I can't wait, y'all. I'm so excited. I can't wait to make my 
rasta pasta because it's so delicious you guys are gonna love it sweet potato pies i know it's la la be wanting to learn how to grill girl i got you but i'm gonna end this video just by saying have a wonderful day i love you guys we're gonna keep it going on trees we gotta keep it we gotta keep this going because today she gonna have a lot to say so like my channel and i'll see you guys in the next video bye